So the next point that we're going to look at is something that, um, that really excites bankers, really gets them going, and yet it really puts most business owners into a cold sweat. But from a bank's point of view, they get off on this. And so you have to learn to love it too. And we'll probably see where we're going with this. Accounts. The financial information within your business. How many of you here would say that you are really in love with the financial aspect of your business? A bit different from normal, isn't it? We, you're in love with good, good stuff. But not many business owners are. They don't like this aspect of the business. As I said earlier, you weren't made that way to love the numbers. But when you get to a certain level in your business, you have to learn to love your numbers and understand them. Because that's going to prevent you from falling off the edge. To learn to love these numbers. So what numbers are we talking about? What are the banks going to need? Well, they're going to need up-to-date accounts, annual accounts. I had a phone call uh, on Friday afternoon before I came here from a guy looking for a commercial mortgage of 75k. His name was Alex. Found me one way. Somebody referred me in. That's right. So, guy said, so Alex, and what I'm going to need from you now are annual accounts. When's your year end? Craig, when's our year end? March. Oh, I thought it was April. Don't know. I'm sorry, I'll have to find out. Not a good start. You have to be on top of the numbers that way to at least know when your year end is. So many times I've gone into business owners, base of premise, and they don't know that simple fact. How can you manage your business when you don't even know that simple inf bit of information, let alone read the accounts that go in it? Because banks then will take a balance sheet in a P&L and they will rip it apart. They'll analyse it to death. With ratios, they look for trends. They'd be looking for a debtor collection ratio, stock turnover ratio, creditor turnover ratio, liquidity ratio, gross profit margin percentage, net profit margin percentage, BB, PBT, PBIT. Do you know this stuff? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> well done. You need to. Are you an accountant? Well, I, I'll okay, let you off on that one then. But you should know this stuff. Just think how powerful it would be if in your proposal document you do the analysis for the bank. What that would do to how the bank perceives you. Don't also be like the business owner who I once spoke to who said, well, you know, Rob, I didn't exactly make a loss last year. It's just that my sales didn't quite meet my expenditure. <laughs> okay, you understand the numbers then. But you have to know this stuff.